Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, I'm your host Nobody and welcome back to Nobody's Place TCG Card Shop Simulator. So on our last episode we ended up getting our first ghost card which is I believe to be a pretty rare thing. I really don't know what the percent chance is for actually getting one of those but hey we got one. So let's go ahead and open up the store. Uh, we definitely need some money. I want to make some big things happen in today's episode and we're going to need a lot of money to make that happen. So seeing as we made it to level 10 on last episode I think it's time we unlock some more licensing particularly the rare card box. The basic card bots has been such a great investment for us that uh, I want to expand on that a little bit with the rare card box. Alright, well we've been completely sold out on a couple things. Let's go ahead and restock here. Alright, it's that change. Man, I really like the fact that the basic card box is an even 20 since everybody seems to be handing me 20s for change. So again, we're going to check. We're safe. Let's go ahead and check on everything else. The boxes are getting a little low. The figurines are also getting a little low. We're fine on dice and those seem to be fine. Well, since it is a a little slow let's just go ahead and grab one of these boxes and open it we're kind of running out of cards to put on the shelf uh that was actually a really good uh pack there how much that speed does that give us 73 dude that overshadows the ghost card by quite a margin kind of don't understand why the ghost cards give you so little at speed all right i that was another decent card pack uh everything was duplicate and it was about eight dollar value a another ex mufflin fifteen dollars and 49 cents pretty cool all right well you know that that box wasn't really too bad all right how we doing oh we got a stinky coming uh, we're doing pretty good about catching these guys before they get to the store now now somebody else told me actually a few of you guys told me you can put stuff on the top shelf and yeah that seems to be the case okay all right well the card tables are pretty full i'm feeling good about that i wish another guy would come over and play with this sorry lost soul they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just keep- So we're at the end of the first day. We have the money that we need. I'm not even gonna think about it. Let's go ahead and unlock that rare card pack. There we go. We are left with uh, 57 bucks, and it's gonna cost us maybe one transaction in the morning to actually make this happen. So before we close the day, we gotta kick this girl out. We're closed, and uh, let's go ahead and press enter. So total revenue, $1,084. We got an item earning of 838, which I believe is close to our highest, if not our highest earnings for items in the shop so far. Card earnings are taking a dip at $18 because we simply just haven't been opening enough packs to uh, sustain that. And our table earnings only 228 bucks. Not the best that we've seen, but hey, what can you do? And of course, you know, a lot of our profit was uh, going towards bills. So next day. All right we're open let's go ahead and see what's going on here not too much all right we should be able to get what we need to uh unlock the rare boxes here all right so first thing in the morning we got some dice you want three dollars change there you go the trend has returned all right so that should be plenty let's go ahead and order these boxes we're gonna do well we can only do one so that's what we're gonna do oh my all right all right hold on hold on hold on hold on at least nobody else is in here to be affected by this guy. So let's go ahead and put these, I don't know, just because we're not using the shelf. We can't use the top of this one, shockingly enough. Let's go ahead and put those right there. All right, so what's the price on these going to be? Bam, bam, bam. And uh, $30. And he went ahead and bought two boxes right away. So 60 bucks at that change. Appreciated. All right, and we already have enough money. Let's go ahead and buy some more of those. I want to get two this time. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and open one. We need the cards anyway. All right, starting off decent, we got a rat stole it. Edition, seven dollars twenty five cents and adult edition loop hair six dollars and three cents all right well that first pack was actually pretty good and that almost paid for the box itself and that was another really good pack eleven dollars and thirty nine cents Hey, there we go. We got a Clamingo EX for $18.57. Nice. All right, so what are we going to unlock next? We're getting close to unlocking the Epic Guard Pack, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Well, hopefully, we can maybe bust some cards open, try to get some easy XP. I'm not really keen on getting some more dice as they don't really sell that well. We got two more additional plushies that we can unlock. Kind of want to go for one of those. And, uh, you know, the money seems to be flowing in pretty well, so we're actually going to do that. I think that's what we're going to do next. Let's Let's go ahead and turn on the light. As, as soon as I look away, man, I, I can't do anything in this game. Uh, so I'm probably just going to bite the bullet. When we make $500, I know exactly what we're going to get. We're going to get this. We're going to get the AutoSent M100. I'm tired of messing with those guys. I've gone to war with them. I've sprayed well over 100 of them so far. And that should be it. There we go. Exactly $500. I'm not even going to think about it. Let's just go ahead and buy it. I'm going to put this dead center of the door. Can we still get around it? Yes, we can. And I think we got to load it up with these. Can we do 
two? Yeah, we can do two of them. There we go. So it says off. How do we turn it on? Click. There we go. I'm really curious to see how this works. All right. Hey, exactly. Perfect. So let's see. Is this going to work? Is he going in? He's going in. He's getting sprayed. <laughs> And he's still smelly. What the hell, dude? Did I just waste my money? So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Maybe we need to purchase two of these things. Maybe one just simply isn't enough. Let's go ahead and turn that back on, I guess. Alrighty. So it is nine o'clock. There's your change and you guys get the hell out. So we got our highest revenue so far, $1,370 item earnings. Over 1,000, I believe that is our highest yet. Our card earnings backed up to $27, still not that great. And card earnings are on an upswing at around $300. Profit 157, still not sustainable, but a lot better than the last few days. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and open the shop. We need money, we need money. I wanna make some things happen. Uh, let's go ahead and resupply these. Don't really have the best cards to actually make this happen anymore let's go ahead and open those open those take a couple of these one of those all right that looks pretty good all right there we go everything's already priced all right cool well it's pretty slow after this guy leaves because i want to make sure that we get whatever he's gonna buy uh, i'm gonna probably open some more boxes oh no we're running out of hairspray come on all right let's go ahead and buy one buy two 120 bucks there you go three and of course, as usual, this guy always wants to buy everything in the store. Does that change too? All right, and the store's pretty much not happening right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the game. We're gonna go to speed. We're gonna, screw it. Let's crank it all the way up to open patch speed. Let's go ahead and see about uh, another box. All right, here we go. How much faster is this? Oh, wow. All right, so we got a EX right off the rip. $14.79, sweet, but that is substantially faster. All right, well, outside of that first pack, that really wasn't a good box, and man, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I wanna buy another shelf dedicated to only dice so that when we start unlocking some additional ones that uh, we can kind of keep them nice and organized. So don't really have a good spot for this now. Can we put it over here possibly? Yes, we can. All right, so let's go ahead and just put that there for right now. We're gonna grab this, we're gonna open that, and there we go, it's right into place. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to accessories. We're gonna scroll down, and I like the black and the white one, so we're gonna go for the black first. Oh wow, those are more expensive than the blue for some reason. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the red dice, and we just need a little bit to get the white ones. All right, how's the spray doing in here? Pretty good, I don't think it's actually sprayed anybody today. I'm feeling there's something wrong with the price because these are not selling the way that they should uh, it's it's still good all right so we got enough money let's go ahead and go to back to accessories unlock the white dice i'm not gonna buy any of them just yet because we're running out of these i'm gonna go ahead and buy two and i know i'm kind of wasting space by uh not putting them on the top shelf as you guys have pointed out to me however that's a lot more organized than you know a pile of boxes in the corner getting kind of dark let's turn the uh, lights on here and uh i don't know just give me one of these packs i want to open the value of that pack was pretty high i wonder what the expensive card was uh, so we got a sinky in here. Uh, I panicked. We got, we got something expensive. Hold on. Get out of here, please. Man, I really gotta buy another one of these. I think it's kind of a waste that the one doesn't do it, but, you know, I, I guess it's a game. So we got about 300 bucks. Let's go ahead and see which one of these dice we're gonna buy. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the most expensive one. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. And that's all we're gonna do, because those things are hella expensive. And we're gonna put them, I don't know, right there, maybe. And we'll put them on top as well. Try to utilize some of that space. Uh, that's the end of the day. Let's go ahead and see how we did. So our revenue is constantly growing, $1,363. Item revenue over a thousand yet again. Card value only 10 bucks, that drops substantially. But the table earnings is over $300 again. We're still negative. All right, that's day. All right, open, 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 there we go, come on in. All right, we got a little bit of money, let's go back to accessories. I wanna get all the dice, I'm gonna do the white next. All right, so which one is this? This is the red dice, so what are we gonna do? I'm kinda thinking maybe this. So we're gonna have to definitely move those boxes now. That looks a lot better, I actually appreciate that a lot. Man, I can't get over the Jerusalem cruisers on this guy. It kind of doesn't match the uh, the vibe that's going on, but hey, what do I know? What is what is the deal? These haven't I haven't sold a single one of these today. Same with these. All right, there we go. We got seven hundred dollars in the bank. Let's go to figurines. Unlock the nets plushie. Uh, we need another three hundred dollars to supply those. If you don't want to wrap it up, I'll wrap it up for you. All right, two complied. Buy something and get out. You bought two sets of dice. All right, can't play here, so you're gonna go play at home. 
All right, you also bought some dice and that change. Appreciate it, thank you. All right, and the end of the day. Let's go ahead and see how we did. All right, so revenue, I think is our highest point, $1,380. Item earnings is kind of slacking, 885. Card earnings went up substantially at almost $189. Table earnings also way up at over $400. And our total profit is in the positive for a change, even though we bought the $700 plus, so we would have been in the positive quite a bit if we didn't buy that. All right, here we go. Well, the dice are actually moving and grooving a lot better than I thought, $38. We can actually see some voids here. We're getting close to having to resupply some of these. Maybe I was wrong about the dice. All right, so people are wanting cards. Let's just go ahead and grab one of these so that we can open so we can sell them at a higher value. Hey, Gold Edition Flamingo, $103. We need more cards like that. Hey, First Edition Hollow, the Loop Hair, $10. All right, that wasn't that bad of a pack. Hey, and he it's Mamad, $17.89. We got a little bit of a minute. Let's go ahead and check to see about a new license. We finally got to level 12, $800 to get the Epic Card Pads. I think we're going to save up for that next. I think that's going to be the next priority. Still ain't doing nothing with this shelf. You know what? Hold on. Q, can we pack this up? C to box up. Okay, it's boxed up. And C, how much do I sell that for? Half of the cost. Man, I really don't want to do that, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to just open a bunch of cards before before we clocked out tonight and hopefully we'll have something good hey there we go it's silver edition hollow esmeralda 17 dollars 76 cents it's a new card so we can't sell it all right here we go second box big money hey gold edition 106 dollars come on now that's pretty good that's really good actually uh hopefully the duplicate shows itself pretty soon Hey, a silver edition hollow, $35. Box two done. It was decent. It wasn't as good as the first, but here we go, third box. Hey, there we go. We got a full art. Forgot what this thing's called, but it's $64.44. I really like the full art cards. I just think they look pretty neat. So that was the highlight of that pack. Last spots. Here we go. All right. And that last spots really wasn't too good. All right. So overall profits are down at $1,132. Item earnings, only $738. Card earnings, a measly seven. Game earnings, about $400 again. So that's pretty good. We paid all our rent up in our electric and our overall profit is $40 decent next day all right we're open oh my god dude fucking vultures jeez what they do stand out there all night all right i'm kind of curious about something grab some of these full arts so bam 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 and put these in here maybe these kind of boost our store's rating by chance i don't know maybe draw in some more customers seeing that we have you know these really nice cards in display i mean only time will tell if this is going to be beneficial but they're there now so all right we're at the end of the day i've let a lot of things get sold out completely like these dice for example let's go ahead and clear out some of these tags as well and we only have one more of these can i just throw this thing away i really want to so what we're going to do now is we're gonna pick up this we're gonna box it up and we're going to sell it yes all right so that's what we have left we have 1200 almost 1300 dollars let's go ahead and end the day see how that was so revenue is only 900 so it's dropped substantially item earnings 536 dollars card earnings 80 dollars still pretty good so game tables under 300 bucks all profit i haven't restocked a single thing and the main reason for that is i want to do some things for that so what i want to do first is i actually want to get this net shop expansion kind of key in my overall scheme here we're going to go to the stocks we're gonna go ahead and unlock this 800 bucks that leaves us 90 dollars left we got another achievement unlocked epic card pack license nice so with that i want to completely redesign the store so let's see how can we move this around yes we can all right so we want to move that kind of centralized i actually want to move this over here the best i can let's go ahead and move this uh i don't know right there and we can kind of put this in the corner here uh let's say i don't know right there that looks pretty good now there's a really big reason for doing this this way because i want to try something here in a minute and i'll let you guys know when i get that ready as a matter of fact i'm just going to go ahead and box up the card display we're not going to sell it because we know we want it so we're just going to put it out in the street what are you doing behind my desk did i put this oh i i put this in the wrong place okay all right hold on i'll fix that all right give me that that change okay all right so let's move this let's actually rotate it now 
All right, that looks good. We're slowly selling out of things, and this guy is probably part of the cause. We got 300 bucks. So here's what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to go down here, even though we can go ahead and buy these, and I'll, I'll go ahead and put one of those in the cart. But I want to just get a bunch of these. Uh, we can buy four boxes. Check out 400 and... Oh, well, hold on. Yeah, we can get three actually here in just a minute. Can this make it happen? Does that change? That guy's always pretty good. All right, 350 is our total. Let's go ahead and buy. That leaves us $8.13 cents left what is this this is the new card packs we're just gonna put it on the top shelf here all right new items guys come by come by but i want to see since these are our largest profit margins uh let's just buy nothing but those for a couple days and see what kind of profits we get okay so revenue is through the roof 17 almost 1800 dollars item earnings 1400 dollars game earnings 370 so we're negative 822 just because we've done a lot of things upgrade cost 1200 dollars uh, we expanded the store and we unlocked the epic packs and the supply cost was every bit of $1,400. So we're kind of, kind of not in a good way. All right, guys, we're open. Come buy stuff. All right. So we ended the day with quite a bit of money and I had enough money to buy another shelf. Now this shelf was 750 bucks. So we've made at least $1,400 today. I kind of filled up everything that I could. Uh, we can see that there's this one dice that's, you know, not really doing anything. Let's just go ahead and put it right there for now. So here's the plan. I'm going to reallocate all this stuff the best that I can. We're just going to actually fill up these end caps here and really whatever's left after this, I'm going to open. All right. So this is all that I'm gonna leave behind, but I'm gonna open the rest of these packs. So what is that? One, two, so that's eight packs of cards. Let's go ahead and start. All right, and that is it. So let's go ahead and clear off all these tags. We don't need them anymore. We're gonna have absolutely no profit because now I'm gonna have to resupply all the things I don't have anymore. <laughs> All right, there we go. $37 left, not too bad. Now, I did went ahead and bought the new plushie. Uh, let's go ahead and use the new shelf as well. All right, is there any more in this box? It doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, it's still gonna take a little bit of work to fill that up, uh, but we did get some new items. Let's go ahead and price those real quick. So these are gonna sell for $41 with a $22.74 profit for each one. So those are gonna be probably pretty good. All right, last task. Let's go ahead and fill up this card rack. All right, there we go. Let's end the day. So the box trick definitely works for revenue we have our highest revenue yet at almost two thousand dollars item earnings 1596 so almost sixteen hundred dollars there game tables still up at over 324 dollars uh profit honestly not as low as i thought it was negative 430 i thought it was going to be a lot greater than that all right next day all right, let's go ahead and open store. Come on, come on. Also on day 18, I had enough revenue to actually purchase another one of these M100s. Because of the placement, they don't have a choice but to go in through this way. So far, no smellies have snuck through there. All right, so we're back up to $427. Let's go ahead and buy some more plushies and we'll end up putting those, I don't know, we'll put those on top. Now it's been a while since we've had these. Let's go ahead and check the price, see if they're still good. Oh no, they went up tremendously. Good thing I uh, checked that. All right, so I really don't want to stop the dice anymore they don't seem to be the best item to sell Let's see if there's anything else that we can possibly sell maybe some of these deck boxes yeah they're plenty cheap a uh, hundred dollars for the license can we go ahead and afford that yeah we can let's go ahead and do that 118 bucks let's go ahead and check this guy out real quick what do you got eight dollars i think these are just boxes so where are we gonna put them i'm thinking maybe all right so what's the price on these gonna be ten dollar profit honestly those aren't bad all right i think we're gonna go ahead and get the green deck box as well it's only a hundred bucks Go ahead and add that to card as well. We'll do the blue and the yellow. Why not? 530 gone. All right. So we made it to the end of the day. We got another four licensing for some products. We didn't sell any of them, but we did buy them towards the end of the day. Revenue, even without all the boxes on the shelves, we still made 1650 bucks. Item earnings, $1,188. Card earnings, 161 So that's good. Uh, and the tables are floating around 300 yet again. So we made a profit of 186 seven so that's pretty good all right guys i think that's going to be it for today's episode if you enjoyed today's episode please consider leaving a like and subscribe as i am a very small channel and it does help me out tremendously and with that guys i will see you all in the next one